What's going on YouTube? It's Daniel back at it again with a brand new video and today I wanted to cover the topic on how to get into social media marketing. So you know you might be new to social media, you might have never done you know paid advertising campaigns or grown a Facebook page or an Instagram page or you might just be new to the whole concept of you know starting an agency and doing this for other people you know maybe you've done it for yourself but you don't know if it'll work for others and I know a lot of you out there are looking to get into some type of entrepreneurship and that's kind of what my channel is about is all these different opportunities and all these different you know chances you have to start businesses or make money or make a living for yourself out there so one of them is obviously a social media agency and that is one that I choose to leverage off of and I started this about a couple months ago with a business partner who is a lot older than me and has a lot more experience with marketing and has run his own agencies and stuff so I get a lot of knowledge out of him and I kind of bring the social media uh, marketing to the table and he kind of brings all the experience and teaches me a lot. So I'm going to share all that with you guys and part of it in today's video. So that's just a little background on myself, but to kind of... So if you want to get into social media marketing and you've never had any you know, social media background or you've never done anything with social media in the past... I think a great way to start would be to just start your own business or you know start your own social media profile and try to grow it on your own and try to generate you know followers or leads or sales for something on your own so then when you go to pitch a client or when you go to you know do something you have that to point at as you know oh I've done this and gotten these results or you at least have it for yourself and your self confidence to know that you've done it before you've proven yourself and you know you're not just going into it blindly like a lot of people do and then you know going in with zero experience and having no idea what you're doing isn't the smartest move so if you haven't done anything before I would start something yourself to begin but if you have done something and your problem might be getting clients or how do I go up to clients or you know what is the best way to do this I would say Personally, I have done emails and reached out to people with emails and the big thing is offering free services at the beginning. So, you know, whether you notice something on their website or you notice a problem they have or you notice, you know, something that you could do for them, offer, offer that service to them for free. So a lot of people want to get paid right away, but, you know, in today's world, people like small businesses don't want to pay for stuff unless they know it's going to work or they don't want to pay for stuff because they think it's a scam or whatever, you know. So you got to prove yourself. So in order to prove yourself, you got to provide value. In order to provide value, you have to do it for free first. So offer something for free. And then even if that falls off, at least you have some experience or something to point at or a case study, you know. But oftentimes if you do something for free and it works well, that leads to paying payment. And obviously that's why we all do this is we want to get paid. But... You know, it's a long-term game, so don't focus on the first couple weeks, you know, of, oh, I need to make some money this week. Focus on, you know, I need to make money over this next year, so I'm going to offer services for free for a few months or for a few weeks, get my foot in the door, get some case studies, get some results, and then, you know, push myself further down the payment line once I'm generating results and I have more clients and I have people to point at and kind of leverage off of. So that's kind of my rant today is just, you know, if you want to get into social media marketing and you have zero experience, you're going to want to do something on your own, whether that be a Shopify store or Amazon product or just start an Instagram page or do affiliate marketing, do something and grow a brand or do some kind of social media advertising, get yourself comfortable with certain things. You know, you could just start out with one specific thing like Facebook ads and then go market yourself as a consultant for Facebook ads or an agency. But do something first, get some experience, know what you're doing, and then offer services for free to people. So, you know, find something that they need, give them the value up front, tell them you'll do it for free. Ask them to just sit down and talk with you. Free meeting, you know, be like, hey, I want to talk with you. I really think we could do something here. I'm an expert in social media and I have a lot of experience doing this. And I think this would really help your business. So if you'd like to sit down with me for an hour or so and schedule a meeting, I'd love to talk to you. Doing something like that gets a lot higher of a response rate. If you're doing emails or even walking in the door, then, you know, hey, I offer this and it costs 200 whatever a month or 2000 a month or whatever you want to charge, you know. 
So that's my big thing is offer it for free at first. But another thing is going after clients is, you know, a lot of people don't know who to go after. They want to go after small businesses, what niche works the best. And the truth is, is all of them work. But in my humble opinion, you know, you want to go after high ticket uh, clients, like people who their customers are worth a ton of money to them. So people like doctors or lawyers or people like that. And I've actually been opened, my eyes have been opened from my business partner to looking at the associations and going after the associations that have tons of doctors and people in their uh, associations. So then you can go through them and kind of get their hundreds of doctors to market to through them. So that's just another thought. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, I know a lot of you are looking to get into social media marketing. So hopefully this can kind of help you take that next step. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'd be happy to answer. And like always, like the video and I will see you next time. Peace.